Good evening, everyone. Miss Valentina Pico and Miss Marian Gerbelon. Um, Dr. Timi Jimenez, President of PIDSP, former Secretary of Health, and Dean um, Sir Manuel Dairit. Um, doctor and former Dean also, Ma'am Nina Gloriani, head of our vaccine expert panel. Dr. Lulu Bravo, former chair of our National Adverse Event for, um, Following Immunization Committee. Dr. Melvin Sanikas, global vaccine expert. Dr. Nancy, Dr. Mary, Dr. Angela of the Scientific Committee. Um, DOH and colleagues in public service, distinguished guests, um, good evening, everyone. First of all, allow me to extend our sincerest gratitude to the Maru Foundation and PIDSP for organizing this gathering of hearts and minds, as was mentioned. This, we think, is a timely regroup to celebrate the milestones that we've achieved during COVID-19, but also to reassess how we should move forward, particularly with routine immunization. Second, let me especially thank PIDSP and each and every one of you here whose help made the impossible possible in the last two years. We should give ourselves a big round of applause and pat on the back. And we in the DOH are eternally grateful for your initiative, your dedication, constructive criticism, as well as collaboration in the most difficult times. The last two years have seen us with highs and lows of immunization. We've managed to vaccinate more than 30 times our routine immunization cohort size. But um, what we'd accomplish in a year, we were able to do typically, no? in a year, we were able to do in a single day, two million um, immunization in a day. But the story is actually not merely about that success. The contrasts are very stark and evident in, for example, um, how good our 12 to 17 COVID-19 vaccine coverage versus still struggling 5 to 11 um, COVID-19 vaccine coverage. We've seen how well public-private partnership was performing or was at its best, particularly during the pandemic, versus um, the rearing ugly head of vaccine hesitancy more prominent as the day goes by and even um, permeating institutions. But our sectoral direction has never been clearer beyond um, typical agenda of um, the health, health department of prioritizing hospitals and specialty services. We are clear that we now um, want to prioritize health literacy among Filipinos. We want to invest more and be better in health promotion and disease prevention. And we want to strengthen the primary care system more than ever. And immunization sits right in the middle of all of these. From um, the promise of protection, not just of communicable diseases, we now look forward to expanding our EPI program to actually eliminate some forms of cancer, which other countries have begun doing so. But in the face of growing hesitancy, even amongst our ranks, amongst health professionals as well, we commit to continue the technical safeguards that we have been able to set up with your participation. From our living clinical practice guidelines, um, HTA, the NAFIC processes, as well as upholding, continue to uphold the ethical standards we know that we need to work with, but at arm's length with industry so that we can jointly protect the, uh, the integrity of our vaccination program. This is of course on top of service delivery innovations that need to be done to address long-standing issues that are cross-cutting, not just for immunization, but for other public health programs, including health human resources, um, logistics, and procurement. And then as we were discussing a while ago, definitely health information systems will play a very big part as we want to be better in targeting and monitoring um, our progress. And finally, um, something that we need to keep doing also is community mobilization. And we have, we think, um, in a way maximize our above the line communication with everyone's help, being on media, et cetera.
but definitely a bigger work moving forward with misinformation is really better on ground community mobilization and engagement. And for that, we will need our um, health professional organizations as well as civil society organizations on board. So we at the DOH stand shoulder to shoulder with all of you to realize our vision that every Filipino has to be enabled to decide for himself, herself, about the benefits of immunization as well as be given um, access, unrestricted access to life-saving vaccines, whether that's geographic or financial access. May the formal and informal discussions that will happen from today until Friday give birth to better and bolder ideas on how we can collectively do things moving forward. Maraming maraming salamat po, and we hope to hear and continue to work with all of you. Salamat, and let's all work together towards a healthy Filipinas.